Hello everyone, my name is Lena Faulkner and this is my week seven critical assignment outline. So the problem I'm analyzing is the lack of in-home healthcare workers for disabled children. This has been an ongoing problem, but the sudden onset of COVID-19 uh, public health emergency has created a window of opportunity to address the issue. Some of the main stakeholders concerned with this issue are nonprofit agencies such as Sonoran Center for Excellence and Disabilities, uh, Association of University Centers on Disabilities, and the Arizona Developmental Disability Council. Some government agency stakeholders would be uh, ACCESS, the Division of Developmental Disabilities, the Department of Economic Security, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. So the first alternative would be to leave the policy as is. Currently, state policy matches the Code of Federal Regulations, Title 42, which prohibits parents and or guardians um, from being paid healthcare workers for their own minor children. As of April 2020, Arizona had a negative ranking of 48 out of 50 states in healthcare workers per capita revealing there are about 3.28 workers for every 100 residents. Uh, this number is anticipated to decline through the public health emergency. And Arizona's uh, 2023 overall budget for health care for health and welfare totals $573.2 million with 133.2 being allocated specifically for the Division of Developmental Disabilities. So anticipated outcomes is that we would keep decreasing in negative ranking. Now the second alternative would be the least amount of government intervention. Uh, and this would be to revise the current policy allowing parents and guardians to be paid healthcare workers to their own minor children. The anticipated outcomes would include an increase in the national average of healthcare workers per capita, an increase in in-home healthcare workers for disabled children, um, as well as compliance with the CDC guidelines of social distancing and minimizing the risk for immune compromised children. This policy could be implemented in less than four months and would have a zero dollar budget increase. The third policy alternative would be to increase funding for in-home health care. Policy analysis over uh, other states and countries' policies have revealed that an immediate large budget increase can be very effective for improving health care services. Anticipated outcomes would be the original state and federal policy could remain the same in regards to restrictions of parents and guardians being paid health care workers to their own children. An increase in funding will expand the pool of private and nonprofit healthcare agencies available to provide the in-home healthcare services. An anticipated budget increase would be needed of $52.1 billion, and that would be spread out over a 10-year period. The evaluation matrix uh, would focus on three areas, effectiveness, which would be stakeholder support, parental support, involvement by parents or guardians who became healthcare workers, tracking an increase in the number of individuals receiving in-home services, and projection of long-term fiscal stability. Looking at efficiency, we're going to take they're taking into consideration federal deficits, rise in national debt, and constraints on all levels of budget, federal, state, and local. Um, will the plan make sense financially? And last, equitability. Is the policy fair across the board? Will it benefit individuals from all genders, age, or tax brackets? Will it benefit individuals in the suburbs and in the ghettos? Based on the information at hand, the recommendation would be to allow parents or guardians to be healthcare workers to, my, to their minor children. It is the most efficient with a zero budget increase, the quickest alternative to implement, and is projected to have the great, greatest effectiveness as well as the most received by constituents and policymakers. So thank you for your time and here is a list of my references.